the computer. In this lesson, we are going to cover what the definition of a computer is, what input, output, process and storage is, as well as the devices used for each. In this lesson, you will define a computer, recognise input, output, processing and storage devices, and be able to apply the IPO model to a computer system. So the first lesson objective we're going to look at is defining a computer. And officially the definition is a computer system is one that can take a set of inputs, process them and create a set of outputs with storage that is involved along the process. But what does that actually mean? Well, input is where we enter data into a computer. Now this can be done, for example, by using a mouse, keyboard and touchscreen, obviously with lots of other options. The data that we enter gets processed, so those instructions that we're giving the computer get processed. And this changes the meaning or the format of data. So that mouse click that we've just done will now get processed. And that's done, first of all, inside the CPU, which is the central processing unit. The output side of it is where we display the data that has been processed or stored. So that mouse click that we did, which was set to open up a file, the output would be that file being displayed on the screen. And that's why a screen or monitor is classed as output devices. Finally, storage, which happens along the way, was where data or instructions are held in memory. And we can use things like this hard drive to do this. In some cases, a USB flash drive for saving of work can also be used. It's important that you can recognise both input, output, web processing and storage devices. So I've got a task for you to do now. So at the developing level, you need to write the letters A to K on your paper. I'm going to show you some devices. You need to identify as many of them as you can and write the letter next to them. If you need to pause the video during this, you may do. Device A. Device B. Device C. Device D. Device E. Device F. Device G. Device H. Device I. Device J. And finally, device K. When you have finished identifying the devices, you then need to move on to secure. You need to draw the following table into your book. You then need to write the names of each device into the correct boxes that you've been able to identify. So label which ones are input, output, process or storage. You need to pause the video in order to complete this part of the task. Now that you've finished that, you need to move on to Mastered. And for this task, you need to explain why the screen on a smartphone is normally an input and an output device. For the final task, you're going to apply the IPO model, that's input process output model, to a computer system. Now, the computer system we've chosen in this case is a smartphone. And what you need to do is to complete the table below on your paper where you identify as many input, process, output and storage devices on a smartphone as you can. You may choose whatever smartphone you like to complete this task.